and we'll get started. Four, three, we're gonna reach the arms up. Really try to extend. Four, three, two, hold the legs, circle the arms. Nice big circle. Two more. Open the legs out wide. Circle the arms. This one's a little slower. Really squat down, circle up. Do four more. Hold the arms out to the side. Legs are out wide. We're going to take right arm to the left foot and come up. Switch and lift. Nice long reach. Stretching through the hamstrings. One more each side. And then we're gonna go a little quicker. Down, up, down, up. If you need, keep a little softness in the knee. Down, up, down, up. One more. Hold the arms, circle. Relax the shoulders. In four, three, two. Now we're going to circle back. Four, three, two. We're going to curl the arms in, in. Relax the shoulders. Four. Three, two, good. And reach up and down, up, hold down. Squeeze into the back. Good, four, three, two. Then we're gonna lunge, side, side. Nice and long. Open up the legs if you need to. Push the weight back in the heels. Four, three, two. Hold center. Roll up. Relax the shoulders. Arch right. Four, three, two, wide, four, three, two, reach across, reach, reach, nice and long. In four, three, two, single arm up. Four, three, two, step together. And march. Four, three, two, heel front. Add the arms front, press, press. 
Now we're going to change to knee lift. Four, three, two, reach up. Four, three, two, opposite at shoulder or knee, elbow to knee. You know what I mean. Keep going. I'm gonna check the music. Good. Yes, nice. You got it. In four, three, two, go to a squat. Push the weight back. Lower as far as it feels comfortable. Good. Four, three. Two, march right, out wide, step together, yes, you can make it a little bit bigger if you have some space, or just go a little quicker, good, in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, tap up. Or regular jack. Good. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Knee out wide, left and right. Yeah, four, three, two, leg curl, squeeze into the back. Nice, four, three, two, and march. Out wide, little twist. And then it's one, two, knee, one, two, knee. Twist, low and high. And four, three, two, just twist. Four, three, two, march left. And four, three, two, knee lift. So it could be just here. You can drive opposite arm and knee up, or you could go to a high knee run. Go on, I'm just gonna time us a little bit so I can keep track. So if you could always start here, driving opposite arm and leg up, you can take both arms up, you can take arm down into the knee, you can do those high knee runs, and you can change it up for that 30 seconds-ish that you work in three, two, one, and rest. From here, we're going to keep the knees bent, either step over and then four knees, or you're gonna hop over, one, two, three, four, hop over and go, three, four, hop over, one, two, three, four, you take a big step, one, two, three, four, big step, one, two, three. If you stay lower impact, make sure you move maybe a little bit quicker, so big step, really drive it up, and then big step, drive it up, nice and quick, You'll still be working in three, two, one, and rest. All right, next move. 
legs are out wide, a little wider than hips. We're gonna squat, reach up overhead in four, three, two, squat, press, squat, press. Adding that rotation, squat, press, squat, press. You need to keep it a little lower impact, just don't squat as low, but still add that rotation if you can. Three, two, one, and rest. Four, three, two, jack her open. So now here, you could always go a little quicker. You could still stay with that tap out. Maybe a little bit quicker, maybe adding a little hop side to side. Arms can go up, out to the side, all the way up and around. Same thing for a jack. It can be front, side, up, and out. We're just all jacks. Three, two, high knees. So now, no break in between. I'm just going to keep telling you what's next. High knees, or if you're like, whew, I don't know, I can't breathe. And then take it down to just here. But breathe through it the whole time. Even if you drive the elbows back and take it to that march. You can add some jump rope arms to any of the moves. In three, two. All right, squat, reach. Squat, press. Squat, press. Squat, press. Weight in the heels. And breathe. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, hop over and knee lift. So hop over, one, two, three, four. Hop over, one, two, three, four or big step, one, two, three, four, big march, step, big march. If it's too much, you could just step and step, maybe trying to stay a little bit lower. Step, one, two, three, four, step, one, two, three, four, or a little hop, or both feet, hop over, one, two, three, four, and rest. All right, nice, okay. From here, we're gonna um, go to the floor. So you can grab your mat if you want. And we're gonna do some moves on the floor. If you have a weight, you wanna bring it with you, that's fine. It could be light, because it'll be lifting overhead, peeling up and reaching forward or pressing front. So just one weight, so you can decide how heavy you wanna go. First move is just a regular bicycle at your own pace. So it could be fast or slow, depending on how you feel. All right, in three, two, one, and begin. So it can be turn, turn, crossing, really extending, reaching opposite shoulder towards opposite knee. And breathe through it. Cross, cross. Extend that other leg long. It can be up a little bit higher if you need. Cross, cross. Three, two, and rest. From here, we're gonna take one weight in by your chest. We're gonna roll down, peel up, reach front, curl in and down, and begin. So we peel up, reach in, Lower down. Again, make sure you have that C curve when you lower down. Peel up, upper back, middle back, low back. And you only do it for about 30 seconds. Keep going. Press. Press. In three, two, one. And rest. You can keep the weight out. Next move, legs are up over hips. We're gonna reach, reach, press, press. Extend, 
opposite hand to opposite foot, really trying to reach up as high as you can. Stretch it out, press. Really try to reach, reach, like you're climbing a mountain. Go up, up, in three, two, keep going, and rest. Stretch it out for a second. We're gonna go back to, let's do um, um, bicycle again. This time, we're gonna change. Oh, let's keep it the same for this set, and then we'll change it later. In three, two, one, bicycle. So you know what that is. Cross, feet can be on the floor. Opposite shoulder towards opposite knee as you lower down. Make sure abs are pulled in or extend and breathe. So second set might be a little harder, especially if you speed it up. You can keep it nice and slow and controlled and breathe. Four, three, two, and rest. Next move, let's take it to that weight. Ready, roll down, peel up and reach. Roll down, peel up and reach. Blow your breath out as you reach the weight front. Curl in, peel up, reach. Curl down, peel, reach. It goes quick. Three, two, and rest. Legs up, reach the opposite foot, reach, reach. Really try to extend, really press up as you reach. Imagine you're climbing that rope, pulling yourself up a little bit higher each time. Extend, extend, reach, reach. In three, two, one, and rest. All right, next move is gonna be one minute. So we're gonna do, let's do this one. We're gonna take the weight in between your feet. You're gonna roll down, extend the arms, peel up, reach for that weight, curl in, extend overhead, peel up, release, curl in, down and up. So you transfer the weight each time. Well, you pick it up and that or leave it down. Ready? In three, two, this is one minute and go. So you pick up that weight, roll down, overhead, peel up, lower down, and then extend with the arms. Peel, reach, weight, overhead, peel up, down, curl, extend, so you just keep going. One set is with the weight, one set is without. Make sure your abs are pulled in. And keep working. Extend. Nice and long. Make sure you have that C shape on the way up. Curl in on the way down, extend. You just keep going. We only have about 10 more seconds though. So it goes quick because you're going down and up, down and up. Core is engaged. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh, nice job. All right. We're gonna come back up for cardio. So you can either push your mat off to the side or if you wanna, walk or do work out on your mat, you can do that. All right, now we're gonna go to, um, well, let's start with butt kicks first. So you can either choose just to curl, curl, curl that leg, or you're jogging in place, bringing that heel in towards you. And you're kind of leaning slightly forward as you bring the heels up up and then you can always go a little bit quicker 
heels. Curl in, curl it in. And breathe. Three, two, one. And then it's gonna be one, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. So you really feel like somebody's kind of punching you in the gut. One, two, three, knee. One, two, three, crunch. One, two, three, crunch. One, two, three, crunch. Good. One, two, three, crunch. Crunch. It goes quick, it goes quick. We're almost done. Three, two, and rest. Next move, tap out or jack. And back to that cardio segment. So I feel like, oh, I can't. Just reach up. I can reach across. You can reach low. You could just tap out. You catch your breath. Good. In four, three, two, and rest. Squat, reach up overhead again. Squat, press. Really rotate, press. If you have light weights, add a little more intensity. That's only if you want. You'll still feel it. It's cardio and core, so getting that heart rate up with those squats. High and low. And rest. All right. I'm going to do one more round. Butt kicks first. And three, two, one, and go. So if you're like, oh, I don't want to jump. You can just stay here, heel, heel. You can pull arms in, arms can be overhead. So it can be low impact. You don't always have to jump. You just move through maybe a little bit quicker if you can, adding the arms up overhead or even pulling into the back here if you don't want arms overhead. And breathe. That's it, that's it. We're almost there. In four, three, Two, oh, now one, two, three, knee, two, three, knee, two, three, knee, two, three, knee, two, three, knee. So you just keep going side to side. If you don't have as much space, that's okay. Do one, two, knee, one, two, a little shuffle or step together, knee, step together, knee, where you really kind of crunch in. Three, two, one jumping jack. Good. Keep breathing. Work through till the end. Yes, you got it. In four, three, two, Squat, press, squat, press, squat, press. And then if you can push through, maybe a little bit quicker. Press, press. The weight back in the heels and rest. All right, next move. We're gonna lunge back and in, lunge back and in. If you wanna take it to a jump lunge, you can do that. Otherwise, step back and in, step back and in. You can also tap back if the knee bothers you, just a tap. And then you can always add arms. Press, press, press if you wanna leave out down and up. So this set's a little bit longer. Keeping the heart rate up. Using those legs. Good. Goes quick. We're down to about the last 10 seconds. Nice big step back. Heel is up. Three. 
two, one, and rest. All right. Now, you can grab a sip of water if you want before we come back to the mat. All right. This next move moves. It's a series of moves. So, see the first one. Here's an option. You're on hands and knees. You lift the knees up. You reach, tap to the side, tap, or you could stay center. Just tap opposite hand to knee, or you can take it to either the knees and then sit through here, sit through, come back, sit through, and come back. So if the sit through is not comfortable, just stay on hands and knees and tap um, that knee. The next one is walking it forward, walking it back, forward, forward, back, back. So the forward, forward extends into a longer plank and then hands come right back underneath shoulders when you come in. Then you're gonna do, um, uh, sit through, then we're gonna do a rolling thing that will be on our back and then back to a bicycle. So we'll start here in plank first. I guess I could show you so you know what we're doing. So when we come back over, we're gonna be um, in that bicycle position. So it's gonna be, um, legs can be long. We're gonna cross, reach up, cross, bring it in. Cross, extend, cross, switch, extend, cross. So you keep alternating sides. It's not comfortable or you get confused, just stay with the bicycle. It's the same kind of thing or just stay with straight legs. And then we're gonna do um, this rolling. So we're gonna be on our back, roll, reach forward, roll, reach forward. So you have to kind of balance on your sit bones as you come up and you don't have to come up very high. You could also keep the legs a little bit straighter but it's a little harder to extend without falling forward. All right, so. I'll still walk you through it or talk you through it. First move, we're gonna start with that sit through. All right, in four, three, two, and begin. So you sit through, push, push. If that's not comfortable, opposite knee or hand to knee in that bear kind of position. You can turn the knees, reach, turn, reach. Adds a little more intensity. You can even pull arm back as you press. Three, two, and rest. You're gonna do that plank. So it's forward, forward, back, back. Forward, forward, back, back. Try not to move the hips. You stay. In a nice long line, back, back, front, front. And if you're like, I can't move, you can just hold that plank. If you need a break, roll out the wrist in between. If it's not comfortable to roll forward, you could just lift one arm. So it could be here and reach. Three, two, and rest. Onto our back, we're gonna do that. Heel up, or no, bicycle in three, two, one. So you cross, extend, cross, release. Extend, cross, in, cross, reach, cross, cross, reach, in. So you keep alternating sides with a cross, extend, cross, reach up. It's a little longer in that bicycle position. Cross, extend, cross, release, cross, extend, and rest. We're gonna go to that rocking, arms overhead, knees can be bent. So you can even roll to heels on the floor, roll here and release, or roll, pause, roll, pause and balance.
eventually you might be able to straighten the legs a little without falling over. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, we're gonna flip back over. And we can do that again with that sit through. In three, two, one, and begin. So you sit through, you can pull the arm back, pull, pull, or just sit through and reach up. You don't always have to rush through it either. You can go quicker if you have the strength. Whoops. If not, you can just take it to where it works for you. Three, two, and rest. Then we go to that plank, hands walking forward, plank position. Three, two, and begin. Front, front, back, back. So you can alternate which hand leads. Front, back, back. Front, front, back, back. Nice long line. Try not to drop the hips. Try not to rock your hips. And breathe. Back, back. And rest. Oh, onto our back. For that bicycle extend, bicycle in three, two, and begin. Cross, extend, cross, release, cross, extend, cross, release, cross, extend, cross. So keep alternating sides, cross, and in. So you can pause in between, cross, extend, Cross, in, and in four, three, two, and rest. Then we're gonna go to that rocking motion in three, two, and rock. So you come up and extend, come up, and extend, nice rocking motion. You can keep it a little bit smaller as long as it's controlled. Blow your breath out when you come up. Four, three, two, and rest. Oh, nice, all right. Now we have another minute, so we're going to roll up, um, punch front like we did in the beginning, which we only did for 30 seconds, and then, you know, let's do that one, because I don't know how much time we'll have after. So one minute, we're going to roll up with that weight, punch forward, bring it in, roll down. You can either keep the weight in by your chest, or if you want to bring it overhead, you can. All right, in three, two one and begin so you peel reach press in you can again take it overhead reach in extend in reach so it can be more of a tricep here keeping the elbows up towards the ceiling in by the chest reach in or a long extension in reach Nice, long reach, or right overhead, in, press. Good form is best. Leave the weight out if you need. Make sure you concentrate on that low back. Peel up, then reach, in, lower and extend. Peel up, reach, in, and extend. We are almost there though. Last five seconds. Three, two, and rest. Oh, nice. All right, we're gonna come back up for cardio, another segment. So you might wanna move your mat out of the way. It's only a few more minutes of cardio. 
a little bit more in abs, and then we stretch. Goes fast. All right, you can get a sip of water, recover for a second. All right, so first move, let's do, um, let's do, I have a lot of things I wrote down. Let's do um, squat hook, squat hook, because it's a nice way to add that rotation in the core. So squat hook first, then we're gonna go to um, jump rope, some side to side shuffles, maybe some front kicks. All right, in three, two, one, we go squat hook, squat hook, squat hook, squat hook, turn. Make sure you really add that rotation coming off that toe, rotating in at your own pace. It's your 30 seconds. So if you want, you can always just stay here. If you want to leave the squat out and rest. All right, next move, let's do jump rope. So you're gonna use those jump rope arms, maybe a little quicker with the arms, like you're turning that rope. You could go out and in. I just wanna keep working. Go through it, go through it. A little turn with that rope. Relax the shoulders, we come off the floor. Nice. In four, three, two. Now a little jump side to side or a little hop side to side. If you don't want to use both feet, you can even keep it grounded and really step over, step over. You're still getting your heart rate up. Even staying low impact, maybe bending the knees a little bit more or even that single hop as you go side to side. You can also pause when you land, come back over. In four, three, two, front kicks. Abs in. Remember, you can keep a kick towards the knee. Push, push. Breathe. Good. Nice. Four, three, two, and rest. All right. We're going to go back to squat hook starting on the left. In three, two, one, squat hook, squat hook. Use your breath. You got it. Squat hook. Make sure your abs are in nice and tight. Powerful. Four, three, two, rest. We're gonna go to that jump rope. If you need a little longer break, feel free otherwise. Join me in that jump rope. So it could be here, or you really try to imagine you're turning that rope maybe a little faster, even though your feet might, might not be going that fast. And breathe. Go, go, go. In three. Two, we're gonna hop side to side or a little jump side to side. Side to side, yes. Side to side or a little hop side to side. Make sure the knees are soft. You're jumping and landing. You can even do a little turn. A little rotation if you want. Three, two, one, and rest. Front kicks, left side first. Four, three, two, kick. Kick, abs in. Good. High or low, the kick is up to you. 
breathe, push, push, push. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, so I think we can do another round. We have time. All right, one more time through. We're gonna start with those squat hooks in three, two, one, and begin. Squat hook. Squat hook. Or again, you could just stay with the hook, making sure you're really rotating in. The down and up is where you get intensity because you're using the legs to help with that punch. Core is engaged. Three, two, one, jump rope. And again, fast or slow, out or in. It can be a march if you need to take it down a notch. And breathe. And do it. Turn in that rope. Turn in that rope. Jump, 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 jump. Go, go, go. Remember when you were a kid, you could jump rope forever, for hours. <laughs> in three, two, one. A little step side to side. A little hop side to side. Or that double step over and over. Or a little ski side to side as you swoosh back, push, push, four, three, two, one, march right, and kick, good, abs in, even if it's low, and you're pushing towards the knee, that's fine. You got it. Make it work for you. You can go a little quicker and stay with the music. As long as you keep the abs in and really push. Four, three, two, and rest. Nice. All right, so you can grab another sip of water. So your heart get heart rate down a little before we come back to the mat. Nice job. All right. So we're going to go to um I just want to see what I want to do first. Let's do a, uh, we'll do a plank after. We're going to go to um, let's do a roll uh, or curl in. So it could be like this. Hands can be behind the head. You can just curl up, reaching towards the knees, reach up and lower. Or our legs can be up, reach forward, look forward. Or you can crunch in and reach in and bring the knees out over hips. So it could just be a curl in and reach or curl in and extend the legs. Curl and extend. All right, that's the first move. Then we're gonna go to side planks and then a regular plank. All right, Ooh, we're getting there, we're almost done. Woo, all right, in four, three, two, and begin. So crunch in, extend, crunch, extend, or just that crunch in, and release the knees out over hips so the abs are engaged, in, and extend, or straight leg. It could be just up and down, up and down, it's up to you. In, keep the abs pulled in, four, three, two, side plank, right side first, three, two, one, we're just gonna hold, 
So you're in a nice long line. Shoulders are in line. Hips are lifted. We're just holding, so it's pretty easy. Just holding your position, not your breath. So make sure you keep breathing. Shoulder or elbow is right underneath shoulder. Other arm can be up. The hand can be on the floor. If you need a little bit more support, otherwise keep the arm up and lifted in three, two, one. And we're gonna switch sides. So you're gonna go right over to your left side in three, two, one, and begin. So you just lift up and hold, keeping hips lifted, arm up, shoulder, supported by that elbow right underneath. Keep those hips up. You can stagger the feet if you need to. Remember, you can bend the bottom knee if you need to. Breathe through it. We're almost there. We have about five more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Regular plank, forearm or hands and toes. It's up to you. In three, two, one, and begin. So again, nice long line, head to toe. Breathe through it. Keep the abs pulled in. Nice long line. Abs nice and tight. In three, two, one, flip back over. We're gonna go back to that curl in. Do whichever one you want. In three, two, one, and go. In and extend. At your own pace. Make sure you use your breath. You crunch in, blow your breath out on the crunch in. And then extend. Try to get a few more in here. Maybe go a little bit quicker. Maybe take a harder move for you and rest. Let's go back over. Side plank. This time, if you want, you can add a hip dip down and up, down and up. And begin down and up down and up you can also just hold if it's not comfortable to drop the hip and lift blow your breath out as you press up down up down lift three two one and switch sides left side same thing with that dip. Three, two, one, go. Down, up, down, up. Really press, lift. Keep working. Try not to let your hips drop down. Three, two, one. Regular plank. Forearms or hands and toes. And three, two, one, and begin. Nice long line, head to toe. Abs are in, breathe through it. All right. Oh, we did it. You can keep the feet in a little closer. You can also put one foot on top of the other just for a little balance challenge. If you want. We're down to the last tens. Oh no, actually last five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Ah, nice work, nice work. All right, keep the knees out wide. Sit back on heels. Walk the hands forward and stretch it out. So you want to really push back with those heels. I'll change the music. Good work, guys. So cardio and core, we got it all in. Alternating the cardio and core, which 
gets you to work sometimes a little bit harder. Let's see what I can find here. Nice deep breath as you sit back, relax into the low back. Mm. This is a nice time to take for yourself, really extend the arms long. Nice deep breath. And then we're gonna slowly walk up, hands and knees. Knees right underneath the hips, hands right underneath the shoulders. Just tuck in and hold, arch through that back, really stretch it out and then release and let it go. And then again, tuck in, squeeze it all in and release and let it go. Let's do that again. Really crunch in, pull it all in nice and tight, 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 tight. And then release and let it go. From here, we're gonna lift up on toes, press back into the heels and extend into that downward dog position. So you're stretching through your calves, pressing them into the floor, stretching through the shoulders. Really push back if you can. In three, two, one, we're gonna step that right foot in. So you're here, that one leg is behind, the left leg is behind. We're gonna take that left hand to the floor, bring the right arm up and stretch. So you're looking over towards your right as you're pressing back, opening up. And then release, bring that foot back, walk the left in and lift up, reach and extend. You can look up if it's comfortable. And then release, we're gonna go one more time, right leg in, extend, hold for a second. And then we're gonna release Bring it back, left foot in, reach up, hold for a sec, and then release and press back. Now you can come up to hands or feet, <laughs> come up to your feet, legs out wide. We're just gonna start with that shift side to side. So hands can be up on thighs. If you wanna take hands to the floor, if you have the flexibility, Pushing the weight back in the heels as you go side to side. So from those squat turns, squat, um, lift up overhead, and then hold center. Hands come above the knees, slowly roll up, relax the shoulders, and then we walk the feet in. Take a nice deep breath up, hold at the top, and then just shift over side to side. So extending into those obliques on the side of the body. Did a lot of work through the core. You wanna lengthen out. And then we're gonna hold center, relax the arms. We're gonna balance on the left leg, reach for the right when you're ready. So always get your balance first so you don't fall over. Keep that standing knee soft and breathe. Slow it all down, relax. <sighs> nice. And then we're gonna take our time, slowly release that right leg, get your balance and then we'll reach for the left. Just giving that quad a little stretch in between all that core work <clears throat> and cardio work. So we got our heart rate up, worked on the core, worked on some balance and control, stepping, hopping.
And then we're gonna slowly release that leg. We're gonna keep the legs about hip distance. And then you're just gonna hinge from your hip. So you just kind of bend forward. You can take the hands on the back. You can also gently come over and hold on behind your thighs, your calves, or come all the way to the floor if you can. Push the weight back in your heels so you really feel that lengthening in the hamstrings and the back of the legs. And nice deep breaths, even as you push back. And then we're gonna bend the knees, bring the hands slowly above the knees, roll up, relax the shoulders. From here, legs are out a little bit wider and we're just gonna start that turn, that little rotation through the core, kind of stretching it out. <clears throat> so whether you need a big turn or a smaller turn is up to you. In three, two, one, hold center, legs about hip distance. We're gonna swing the arms up, lean back slightly, and then just roll down, bring it up, reach back slightly, roll down. Bring it up, press back, reach one more time, press back and reach. Now from here, we're going to interlace hands, extend forward, stretching again through the low back, tucking the abs in, bring the arms up overhead, slowly release and open. We're going to do that one more time, press forward, tuck it in, knees are bent, then we're going to reach up and open, and then we're going to take a nice deep breath up. Relax the shoulders and open. Cardio and core, we did it again, you guys. Good work. Woo